Hi and welcome to our weekly meditation we call Soul Food and we've been working through this History Maker series looking at the whole Bible over eight weeks. We're on week seven and we looked at Romans and the Epistles and uh, the title was Out of Grace. Now it's interesting to, to hear different people and how they explain their views on life, heaven, eternity and there are many people, even Christians, who believe that if there is such a thing as heaven, you get there by being a good person or you get there just because God is good. There was a t- survey done in 2005 amongst Christian teenagers, Teenagers, around 3,000 of them took the sur- survey. And the overall theme of what these teenagers believed Christianity was about was that it was about a moralistic therapeutic deism. Basically, a good God creates people who he wants to be good but he's not overly involved in their life. It's just about being moral and happy, and those are the most important things. The question is, is that really the case? Can we really be good enough? Would a good God really be good if he sent everyone to heaven? So as we look at uh, Romans and the Epistles, and particularly our key verse, uh, let us think about what does it mean to live a life out of grace rather than just out of goodness? So if we look at Romans 5, 20 to 21, it says this. Now the law came in to increase the sin or the trespass. But where sin increased, grace abounded or superabounded all the more. So that as sin reigned in death, grace also might reign through righteousness, leaving, leading to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So what is it that you're operating in? Do you offer in grace or disgrace? Do you find it easy to to love both people and yourself, or do you find yourself becoming judgmental and cross and bitter? Do you see yourself through uh, the eyes of sin, and do you see others through the eyes of sin or through Jesus' cross? What can we do to understand this incredible, super, super abundant grace God has given us, and to live in that, which enables us to live, live free, enables us to love ourselves and those around us? How are we going to make that a reality in our lives?